Hello, entrepreneurs, dreamers, business owners, and happy people with high hopes. Welcome to Cash Flows with your host, Cash Matthews. Okay, good afternoon. Hey, welcome to Cash Flows. I'm Cash Matthews, and uh, we are very glad you're here today. We're going to talk about some of those life questions that maybe make your life a little bit better. Maybe it's business or money or finance or marketing like we're going to do today with Jeremy Cornelius, and uh, we'll introduce him in a moment. Um, you know, often in life, it seems like you can get stalled out or stuck in the mud and things just aren't going as fast as you would like them to. And uh, so we bring in entrepreneurs from our community that have had some success, that have taken action. You know, I think action is the biggest part of success is, you know, I think action cures everything. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, not, not perfect action, but taking action and too many people get stalled and their philosophy becomes one of ready, aim, 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 and they never fire. They never pull the trigger. And so we have a philosophy here at cash flows that is fire, aim, ready. And that may not suit everybody, but we think that, uh, bad action is better than perfect inaction. Yeah. If that makes a little bit of sense. So, uh, if you've been stuck and you're just trying to figure out the next step, we think you'll love this show. We're glad you're part of it. Uh, you're what makes us successful and thank you for being here. So fire aim ready. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have, we all have beautiful dreams and goals and aspirations and somehow we just get stuck in the execution. And, uh, so we're glad to have everybody here today. And with fire aim ready, I am ready to introduce my cohort and all of this, Mr. Kenneth Bauckham. Kenneth, say hello. Hello. Or more. Or more. Uh, there we yeah. go. Kenneth Bauckham and no. more. And more. New and improved. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 2.0. Wait, is it new or is it improved? A little bit of both. Okay. I, but I not never, too much. We don't I never really know how that works. Yeah. Well, but neither do we. We're firing, aiming, and then fire you know, aim ready. think about it a little okay. bit after that. Well, hey, before we uh, get Jeremy on here, I wanted right. to, um, you know, last night after dinner, we went and got steaks. It was a great night. Had a good mm. dinner. Got home. You know, that little spot between dinner and sleep. Right. Which for me is usually about three minutes. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I did some high powered, high tech computing. Okay. And uh, yeah, I did some, uh, some ciphering. Mm -hmm. Dialed yeah. up on the online. On the online. On the interwebs. The on the interwebs, on the internets. Yeah. And uh, dialed up onto AOL. Oh, wow. And uh, I recorded it. So that's what you're hearing in the background. Oh, you <laughs> recorded, recorded your session just I for posterity. I recorded the sesh, man. I, yeah. I wanted to have that yeah. written down for somebody. And I was on my Commodore 64 computer. I don't, not, not many people are, uh, you know, that well off to have one. Mm, yeah. And, you know, I think you know. they, you know, I mean, yeah, they came out, you know, 44 years ago, but, or however long Ish. it was, but still, you know, kind of a 60. dynamite operation. Anyway, got myself into a chat room Oh, and I've got a little chat thing. I do with some of my buddies from the way back uh -huh. and, uh, they are, uh, these are buddies of mine from cycling. Uh, oh, I had okay. a cycling career. And, um, there was my buddy, Dennis, my buddy, Stu Bob, and my buddy, Hink Dog. Okay. So if you have three buddies from a cycling career, does that make it tri-cycling or? It's tri-cycling. Yes. Okay. And you should try cycling. It's oh, a lot oh, of fun. Oh, okay. Yes, you should. I got you. I got you. Anyway, so we're, we were in our, uh, weekly chat room where we catch up with each other and it's a monster truck chat room. Um, you know, I don't know why I'm telling you about right. that, but, uh, it's just the four of us in there. Well, yeah, yeah. And, um. Chatting anyway, one, one of the guys, the guy we call the Red Baron, mm -hmm. um, he is fascinated with you, by the way. Uh, he said, he's like, hey, look, do you know him? What do you know about him? You know, like. This one's Dennis, right? This is Dennis, yeah. yeah. My, my lifelong friend, Dennis, a guy that I care about very much. And he wanted me to ask you a question. Okay. He's like, you know, he knows we're connected. Of course. And he's like, you know, would you mind asking? Uh, and I got it. I wrote it down. I'm, I'm going to read it to you off the sheet that I wrote it on. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here, here is that question from my buddy, Dennis, the Red Baron, to you, sir. Um, Hey, Kenneth, oh, what's a guy like you doing in a nice place like this? Well, Dennis, thank you so much for, uh, writing into us, uh, via my good friend Cash. Um, so, uh, you know, of all the different things that we do over time that I have, have, you know, kind of switched up through each of the episodes, the different tasks I've taken on today's task. I am the scout for the league of extraordinary daydreamers. Um, so for those of you out there that like making up stories and in your head in the middle of the day to rest and relax, 
I'm watching. I'm writing it down just in case. <laughs> a scout for the League of Extraordinary Daydreamers. Yeah, if you could just dial in and just send that back to him on the the triple dubs, that would be great. Okay, now I've got a I've got some problems with the word extraordinary. Okay. Because like if if it was called the ordinary daydreamers, that wouldn't be very exciting. Well, no, of course. And the word extraordinary, right, is not extraordinary. But there is more because it is extra. It's like extraordinary. Like it's like, hey, some people are boring. Cash, you're extra boring. Well, so I, I, I struggle okay. with that word. I want to, it's kind of like the up, okay. you know, there's the up escalator. Yeah, it makes right. sense, but not the down escalator. Words gotcha. bother me. And there I should be like a de escalator. A de escalator, right? And I don't know what we're doing with words in this country. You have descalators and yeah, percolators okay. and. Yeah, and I'll see you later. And see you later. Okay. <laughs> and alligators. You know, maybe we, we ought to just get on with the show. We should probably do that. I feel like I feel like our friend Jeremy would like to know why we brought him here for this. Oh, yeah. We didn't really tell him what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, you're going to be on the internet. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm being set up. <laughs> <laughs> well, very cool. Well, thank you for being here. We're here today with Jeremy Cornelius, and he is the founder and manager of CO Media Brand. Or you can say it co-media brand, co-media however you want to do it. Or you could, I mean, there's a lot of ways to say that, but comediabrand.com. You can find it on Facebook. You can find it on the Instagram. You can find it on AOL. And it's possible. you probably find it on Bing. I think so. A lot, yeah. lot of places. You, are there any other of those social media things that are just gone? MySpace? Oracle? Orcut? Or, Orcut? Orcut. Uh, let's see, Google Plus. Google Plus, yeah. A lot of... A lot of media things have come and gone pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I was not like, by the time I found out they existed, they were already gone. It's true. So bad timing on my part. We're here with Jeremy Cornelius and, uh, he is in the media and branding space here in the old entrepreneurial world. And we're going to interview him today. We're so excited you came today, Jeremy. Well, thank Thanks you. for taking time out of your schedule. We know you've got lots going on and, uh, our studio audience is very happy to see you. Yes, and sir. amazing how we fit all those people in this tiny three by th- <laughs> this tiny three by two room. You notice the room? Three, wow, it's getting the, smaller. The room gets smaller every time we visit. <laughs> well, so we met you, Jeremy, through the Bong Group, the Business Owners Networking Group. Yes, sir. And if I recall right, we met you at a new member breakfast. Maybe that's correct. Yes, yeah, sir. that was that was that's a year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the Bong and what the Bong has been like sure. for you. Sure. Sure. So the, the bond group, um, I joined, um, you know, having no expectations, you know, I did my research, what networking is because I was into entrepreneurship and I kept hearing the word network, network, network. And so I got on Facebook and just typed in, you know, networking and there were maybe a few groups that popped up, uh, two of the groups, they were you know, not active, um, haven't posted in a while. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as I, you know, posted in the bong, you know, I was accepted. And as soon as I posted in the bong group, um, it was a strange guy, you know, was telling me about hot dogs, you know, and, you know, I was like, what is going on here? (laughs) And then uh, I I got to meet the person uh, a beautiful person that's sitting right across from me. All right. And yeah. I'm so glad uh, we can see him here on our radio show. Yes. Yeah. Well, just, uh, <laughs> imagine Brad Pitt, but prettier. Oh, right, right. And for those of you that's on perfect. YouTube, Sorry. shut up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so that our first day we had breakfast together, and I, I'm assuming I was the guy talking about hot dogs. Yeah. 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 And and that's, uh, that's actually a funny story we should talk about. But sure. You know, one of the things that we focus on in the bond group mm-hmm. is just getting to know one another. Yes. And, you know, there are lots of great entrepreneurs and they know how to do their thing, whether it's marketing or finance or photography or skincare, mm-hmm. but they may not know how to create the relationships to sell it. Yes. And the bond group is really about creating relationships that may or may not turn into sales but they'll at least turn into friends and friends right. generally buy from people that they know. Yes. And so that, that came about one day as uh, I saw a guy pitching another guy and the guy doing the pitching did not realize the other guy was not catching. Like he, <laughs> he was not digging the whole process. And I went and interrupted him. Mm. Like he's in the middle of a presentation. I'm like, Hey, 
I don't think you're doing this right. Maybe ask him, you know, if he, if he likes ketchup on his hot dogs or not. Yeah. And, uh, because I, you know, I think we're not obligated to, but we ought to be obligated to getting to know a little bit about the person. And so you and I got to meet in an environment and a lot of what we do is silly. We get it, Mm -hmm. but business doesn't have to be all stoic and stuffy. And so like you've got on a fraternity jacket for the bong fraternity, the beta, the beta omega new gamma fraternity. Okay. And you know, that's while that's kind of silly. It's a way for us to get to hang out a little better. Yeah. Get to know one another a whole lot better. Mm. And like last year, you know, you came to our prom. Yeah. And in fact, uh, I don't know how many photographs we took, but uh, you should see the photographs of Jeremy Cornelius and his buddy Chase Chapman doing their, you know, se- <laughs> secret agent man poses. Nice. And they were the, they were the best they were the best photographs of the entire event. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So that that was a fun event, but we just gradually have gotten to know each other a little bit better. Yeah. Done. You know, worked in in this bong thing together. Yes. Yeah, so we're, I, I don't know, maybe I'm going a little and, overboard on and, the bong today. And I, and I appreciate um, that aspect of it, getting to know someone, you know, uh, outside of business, because um, I've I never been in sales, which I know is a, a, a great part of business. And so I, I found out that it's less, um, it feels better to get to know someone instead of, you know, trying to pitch them something or coming up with the right words to say. It's it's more genuine to just, mm-hmm. you know, get to know that person because right. you actually, you know, care and you want to know that person. Amen. You know? it, I, I think that speaks to, I mean, and this to me is one of the things that marketing is. Yes. Uh, you stick around long enough mm-hmm. and you let people get to know you. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, if you have 20 people who know you, like you, trust you, and believe in what you do, Mm -hmm. you don't have to do sales. They're doing it for you. Yes. And when you get referred out on a referral from Mm -hmm. somebody, that's pretty much always a yes. Right. And then Mm -hmm. we, then as professionals, we don't have to go learn sales. We have to learn friendship and our friends Mm -hmm. will do the selling for us because we're buddies. Mm -hmm. And if he needs what you're doing, I'm going to be like, Hey dude, call Jeremy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's over. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the way we like relationships to roll. And that's why the bong is having this meteoric success. We probably did ten million dollars worth of business between members last year. Oh yeah, it's it's I mean, houses being sold and fences being sold and cars being worked on and oh, vacations. Fences, that's where the money is right there. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I, I need one right now. <laughs> you know, that was one of the careers. Why didn't you pick it? Oh, there we go. See, fence joke. Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Sitting on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, we're, we're glad you're here. Your company is comediabrand.com, comediabrand.com, also on Facebook and Instagram, uh, where you can learn about Jeremy and what he does. So branding is one of those words that's about as broad as the word lunch. Yes. Like it, it can cover a lot of things. And every time I hear the word branding, like just in my brain, I just think of like a headshot and doing your envelope and your business card and your stationery. To me, that's branding because in my industry, they, we have a branding person at one of our firms and they like, Hey, I'm your branding person. Mm -hmm. Are you, you know, it's been three years. Do you want to redo your headshot and your stationery? And we truck on up and we spend an hour doing our headshot and our stationery and we, we're branded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm having a feeling that you do a lot more than that. Help us define branding. So branding, what you're looking at right now is branding. Got on a bong jacket, a CO Media brand shirt, and my beautiful camera bag. Um, so uh, that's some of the basics of it. Um, you also need your colors. And there's also, you know, color science to, you know, different brands, you know, McDonald's, uh, Best Buy, you know, blue could be used for, you know, something. Um, I don't have it in my head right now, but um, it's basically, it's basically, um, sorry. Uh, So it's, it's, it's what the people see. 
mm-hmm. but it's also how they feel about you. That's the most important part. How mm-hmm. how they connect what they see with how they view your brand. And so uh, that requires then repetition of your brand showing up in various places. Yes. Mm-hmm. And do you do that for people as well? Do you say, hey, this needs to be on your stationery, this needs to be on your website. Do you help them create that picture, that picture image of what it's supposed to be like? Yeah, so that's one of the things that got me into, you know, learning branding because I had a t-shirt company and I was wondering why my uh, my t-shirt company didn't look con- consistent, you know, across yeah. different platforms, you know. Um, and that's one of the important things about branding. You have to stay on the same type of, typography if you have the a certain type typeface then you need to use that consistently over everything you can't stray away from it the colors have to be on point the uh, hex codes they have to be consistent through uh, across the board and uh, you just there's it's so many things that go mm-hmm. into it you know what people see like how they view it you have to have a, a certain image and that need that image needs to stay consistent across the board, just like uh people uh celebrities you know they may have some sayings that resonates with you that's mm-hmm. a part of branding as well, so there's mm-hmm. so many different things that go go into it so it's important then, especially for small business i mean does a small entrepreneur who's grossing under a hundred thousand a year do they need a branding package um uh, I, w- I would think so, yes, yes. Uh, there's some, uh, you know, odd success stories to where people don't really need it. Um, but I I would say it's, it's very important. You know, how you start off is, you know, you only got one time to make a first impression. True that. Yeah, and so. Well, we, I, ha- we have a lot of new members in the Bond group. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it seemed like just yesterday we were at five. We've just had 700 people join in the last four weeks. Wow. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're like, hey, where are all these people coming from? But mm-hmm. you know what we're learning? There's lots of entrepreneurs out there. And uh, and I try, try to meet all these people. But at, at what level should a brand new entrepreneur begin to think about branding? Is that an immediate thing? Is that the first year, first two years? If, if somebody were starting a, I don't know, real estate firm today. Came to you, what would you tell them? I think it depends on the person. If you are the person that you know it's going to work out, um, you know that uh, you have a vision already, I believe, I think that you should start, you know, with branding. But if you are, like, kind of unsure, you procrastinate a lot, I think you should just go ahead and start. You know, that's the most important part. Right. How easy is it to get started with branding? I mean... Do you do logo design as well? No, I I stay away from logo design. There's so many horror stories, and <laughs> yeah, because like I was saying, like people have in their mind sometimes what they want already, and logos is one of those things that it it, it just doesn't. When you present it to them, it's never what they had in their head. Maybe right. they, they are communicating what they need wrong, or is just they expect more. So, yeah, logos, yeah, I, I stay away from it. Um, so if you're bringing a brand package together, we we just refer out the logo work? Yeah, so, yes, yes. So, um, and I, I know people that do uh, great logos, but uh, the, the, the back end stuff like the uh, type typeface, the hex codes, like that means the colors of your brand and, you know, what you say. Got it. You know, how people, you know, your the language of your business. How important is a good headshot in in the branding and starting the branding? Because I, I, I've seen some headshot programs coming up. They're going to have a headshot party. How important is that? Headshots are important. It uh, shows professionalism across the board uh, to, you know, people that understand business. It looks clean. It looks nice. Right. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. our, our cell phones that we carry with us everywhere we go. Yes. Um, except the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it seems like so many people are using the cell phone trying to do their kind of their own stuff. Yes. I, I mean, is that relevant or is that a mistake? So cell phones work 
Uh, it depends. I that's one of my pet peeves is people using their cell phones to take professional pictures. It works for some people, but some uh, is to like a photographer or people that's been in business for a while. It 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 doesn't really show that you're being professional. You're not investing in yourself. So a cell phone could be used. I would use a cell phone maybe for a live on you know TikTok, yeah, or Instagram. You know you need to post something right quick. Uh, but yeah, I professional people know when things are shot on your cell phone and when they're right. shot on the camera. So um, yeah. TikTok, I know that's out there. I haven't I'm not on it. Mm-hmm. How relevant has that become in the last year? Oh man, it's it's slowly dying down a little bit. I would say um, it's it's uh, it's mainly for if your tar- target audience is younger people. Maybe let's say I don't know how young kids. You know they sneak on all these websites all the time. But I would say <laughs> from a young age, there could be you know, my eleven, thirteen year old. Uh, he tried to get on it, so. I don't, I don't let them get on it, but that age and up until like 25 or something like that. That's sort of the target. That's the target. Target market if for t- TikTok. Yeah. So yeah. putting like old guy financial videos and accounting, probably not a TikTok thing. Yeah. If, if, if you're cool like yourself, I, I would oh. definitely do it. He says I'm good looking and I'm cool. This yeah. is a, we're going to go for three more hours. That's Elaborate, awesome. please. That's awesome. Yes, I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, my my daughter's 15, and I've been, she uses TikTok. Mm. And I've tried to look in, and, you know, I'd, that's just out of my realm. Yeah, me too. Do, but are people yeah. using that for marketing today? Are they finding a way to use TikTok to market themselves? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And there's been a lot of people that um uh, has found success with that. You just got to get in the you got to understand it and use it for what it is it's basically entertainment uh you would get on there maybe post a funny dance video and somehow coordinate that with your brand you got one of those for us real quick yeah uh no you know funny dance i I don't i don't have one handy but maybe later Uh, it'd be funny it would i think we got to come out with that (laughs) <laughs> man okay yeah so i mean i have a lot of these branding questions for you because i like sure. i said i see people that come into our group mm. that uh and they say that they're into branding or they're mm. a digital creator yes and i wish <laughs> i could tell you what that was does that just mean you're on the internet <clears throat> it, it could mean so many things and that's one of the things that i i struggle with because uh in my situation, you know, I, I I learned a lot because I, you know, trying to educate myself more and more every day, which everyone should be doing. Uh, it, it you kind of learn one thing and then you kind of learn it all, right? You know, if it if it has to do with content creation, that's what I call it. I call it content creation, right? So you know, digital. It could be anything. I mean, it could it could be photography. It could be branding. It could be, uh, you know, just graphic design, anything. Got so, it. so it, when you say digital digital creator, it has to be known, you know, because I know people. I get the question all the time. You know, what exactly do I do? Yeah. You know, so it's one of those things that I'm trying to balance out. Right. Yeah. So you just got to ask the questions to be like, hey, what exactly do you do? Well, so. What do you like to design? I mean, you, you're you apparently very good at it. What yeah. kind of things do you like to design? There is, what I like to design is like, f- f- there's a thing called photo manipulation. Let's say I take you, Cash, and put you as a Scrooge McDuck character and yes. put you on a bed full of money in a vault. You know, it's, it's that type of thing. You take all of these different elements, you, know, you will get the vault, cut it out, put, you know, a uh, PNG of money in the background and then have you uh, cut your uh, picture out and then have you laying on a bed full of money, <laughs> something like that. You can know? we do that? That's, well, we can. We, I think we can do that. We'll just have to dial up and get that done. Yeah. So do you have a favorite thing that you've designed for a client? A favorite thing I've designed for a client? 
Uh, did so many designs. I really don't do much design work for clients. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, then let's talk about what you've designed here that's behind us. Sure. Um, because that thing's pretty cool. Yeah. I, well, I saw you come in with him. I'm like, man, he's staying. This guy's <laughs> moving in with us. All right. This is our new podcast partner. But yeah. you you designed the bag itself or just the branding on the bag? So we were talking about logos earlier. I actually designed the logo. Uh, and this was made by Lucy Dawson. She she printed this. Lucy out. Dawson Dawson Designs for Dawson all your design Dawson. needs. Lucy Dawson. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and the bag I just ordered it off the internet. You know, it, it it's on brand with the color, and yeah, that's that's how it came about. Yeah. Yeah, that that's really cool. Thank you, thank you. Now, is that that's something just for you? That's not a that's not a product for sale that you make. No, sir. That's, no, sir. That's just what is that? Your camera bag. Yes, my. I, I heard, I heard, I heard these guys talking about camera stuff, and uh, like I, I super exciting. It was very exciting, and we very, tried to use a lot of big words. Yes, you did. I don't know if you were trying to, but uh, I tried to play along. I failed. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, the aperture, yeah, with the exposure on the yeah the aperture manual setting. Big, I am big on aperture. Flash. I don't if you, I don't like to let it cook too long. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't even, don't tell me what aperture is. I'm just, I'm just oh, going to, I'm going to say stuck in my ignorance here. <laughs> so, um, business is hard. Yes. I mean, let's just call it what it is. Business is hard. It is. And, and you're really in your first couple of years of this business. Yes. I want to hear a couple of the things you've had to overcome. Uh, finding out exactly, uh, what I want to do. You know, it's it's fun. That's a great answer. Yeah. Uh, basically, I I started out, you know, wanting to. Uh, I have a skill. You know, when you start a business, you need to have a skill. So my skill was basically YouTube. That's why I you know started, and you know I learned everything I know from wanting to be better at YouTube, and so I I was like okay. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do photography, graphic design, branding, um, you know, the whole nine. And once you do it for a client, it's totally different. You know, you got, it's not just you, you know, with your own, what you have in your mind creatively, you're working with somebody else. And, and then on top of that, you know, I'm not a sales guy. You know, I, I want to do stuff free for people. But, you know, you, yeah, I've learned that <laughs> you my, get paid. my time is more important. Yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, it's just been a, a learning curve. And, yeah. Well, yeah. I, that's that's part of it. I mean, the learning curve is giant. Mm -hmm. And it's not all giant things that you had to overcome. It's just right. the little things. Yes. Right. And those little things begin to add up where you're like, Oh my gosh, is it, uh, you know, we, in my brain, I went, Hey, I like podcast. Right. <laughs> and then, and then he's like, I like podcast too. Yeah. And then we sit here and then he starts pushing buttons. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't like podcast. Waving, <laughs> waving a magic wand. Like, what are yeah. you doing? But he's anyway. Yeah. But you, but you, you know, part of that overcoming the early days yes, is to find somebody that you know, like, and trust. Yeah, and and collaborate with them in a way that's beneficial for everybody, and I think that's what we've done here. Yeah, and and with that, we're actually going to take a quick commercial break and say thank you to one of our amazing sponsors. It keeps this show in the air. All right, so one of those amazing sponsors is MFP, My Financial Plan. With My Financial Plan, you can keep everything you own in one secure, accessible place. See everything you own and know what everything is worth. Benefits include a personal financial website with daily balances and budgeting tools. It's accessible anytime, and you can get it for yourself at joinmfp.com. That's the phrase that pays, joinmfp.com. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not on now, I'm on. Thank you very much, Kenneth, for that. I appreciate that we created that product so that everyday people could have an advantage in their pursuit of excellence with money, business, and uh and I, I, you know, I'm just saying a little bit more about it because I got the mic. Yeah, that's true. And, and we've got a few minutes left. We have I, a couple hours and, left, uh, so we can. Uh, we're here with Jeremy Cornelius, <laughs> but today we're going to spend uh, half a minute more 
talking about joinmfp.com. Uh, my financial plan is a computer-based place where you can literally see everything you own, yeah. whether it's money, property, coins, bikes, and then you can have a, a net worth evaluation over where you are in life. And the best way to get ahead is to know your starting point. Mm -hmm. And, you know, working in the financial field for 42 years, there's an expiry date on all these people. And there's going to be a time when it, it becomes very difficult to tell your family where everything is. And so one of our philosophies in that world is don't leave a mess, leave a password. Mm. And, uh, so that's part of what MFP is about. Nice. And uh, thank you for the, for the nice words on that. Um, well, and because we wrote them down on the script. Also that. Yeah. Also that. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are here today with uh, my friend, Jeremy Cornelius. Uh, Jeremy is the founder of CO media brand, CO media brand.com. Also on the internet at the old Facebook on Instagram and MySpace, I think. Are you sure? No, I'm going to, I'll, I'll look it up. We'll check. We should buy that domain and just start over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone has thought of that. And maybe maybe we just buy my spaces and nobody yeah, there you go. There <laughs> we'll, you go. We'll fool everybody and Jeremy can run all the branding. Got him. Yeah. I, I think we just got a plan right there. Uh, we're with Jeremy Cornelius and we're talking about this concept of branding and what does it look like and why is it important and uh, what does he do for people? And, you know, branding is more than a photograph. It's more than a headshot and it's more than the stationery that you buy. Uh, and to me, that's what branding always was. And, uh, we're thankful to have Jeremy here today. Jeremy, let's talk about, uh, you and your family a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I know you have two children. Yes. Two, two and boys, two boys, one wife. Yes. Okay. Just, I'm going to make sure we get that in order. Yeah. Um, so no, I'm just like, <laughs> the, hey, I'm not going there. I'm, I, th I thought we were about to do 12 days of Christmas. I was going to say a partridge in a pear tree, but. Well, you know, to each his own. To each his own. Um, so uh, you and your wife obviously have a very close relationship. Yes. Uh, I just want you to talk about your wife for a minute and your relationship because it's beautiful. Yeah. And she's amazing. Yes. And uh, talk about anything you want to say about your relationship and something that might be encouraging to someone else. Sure. Yeah, so my wife, she is is she's the extrovert. I'm an introvert if you believe in that. But, um, yeah, so she is very outspoken. She, you know, says what's on her mind. She's very pleasant. And uh, that's one of the things that, that's how we met, really. You know, she introduced herself to me. Um, and it's like, you know, who is this? Lady? You know, I've, I've never had a woman, like, introduce themselves and, you know, wanting to, you know, get to know everybody. And so, you know, I didn't think nothing of it, you know, when we first met. So uh, a few months later, you know, she uh, she asked me a question that was very, uh, it was it was very interesting. You know, I, I was, I, I didn't, I didn't waste my time with playing dumb or anything. And so I was just like, you know, can I get your number? And, um, Ever since then, uh, we we haven't been apart really. Wow. Yeah, we're together mm -hmm. every day. We talk on the phone every day. You know, we do stay. I don't want to say it like we don't stay in the same household, but yeah, we we do stay. We we just bought a house uh, a couple years ago. Um, but it's uh, I, I never. I want to say this. I never. I've been to weddings. I never thought about, you know getting married you know even though i've been to weddings i've been in weddings also and is when i met her it was just totally different from any other female that i had you know prior dealings with and it's yeah, she's she's an angel she, yeah she's truly an angel yeah, she, she is yeah. wonderful so yes. what advice would you have for some of the other husbands out there that uh, are married or getting married you know, one of our good friends, Chen Doan, just got married. Yeah. Well, yeah. what what kind of advice would you give to those to those married, newly married people about keeping the marriage in a good spot? Newly married. Well, congratulations to all the newly married people. Uh, it is. I'm gonna start with the positive first. Um, you 
you have to have a goal. Both of you guys have to have a goal. Y'all may not believe in, you know, the small stuff, but overall the scale of, you know, life in itself, y'all have to have the same beliefs and you you got to stay a team and you you just got to keep working towards something. You got to be exciting. She has to be exciting. Y'all have to do exciting stuff. You know, it, it can't be a dull moment. And especially these are this is for the husbands out there. <laughs> Here we go. You have <laughs> you have to be the person that your wife can trust. You have to know that you know you are there for her. You know you gotta listen, even though you know women they do stuff that we don't do. You have to understand who they are. You know, as as a woman, um, and it's especially nowadays, the women have to know who the man is. We don't do the same things that women do. We we, you know, we talk about different things, and you know, it'll probably shock women. You know, uh, when they hear a group of guys talking, you know, locker room talk. But <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just very important for um, both of you guys to understand each other and know where each other is coming from, even though they might say something that you don't agree with. You you still have to just listen, take your emotions out of it and just listen and try to understand, okay, what is this person really trying to tell me? And that's the most important part. And I hear communication a lot. He doesn't communicate. She doesn't communicate. It's understanding what the person is trying to say. Forget what they're saying trying to understand what they're trying to say and how can we fix this. Very good advice from Jeremy Thank Cornelius. You. I appreciate that. A couple more uh, business questions and we're going to do your golden nugget and then uh, our day will be over. But um, so you, you mentioned doing some stuff on YouTube yes. and, and you know what, what that triggered me because this show is going to be on YouTube nice. bum, bum, and uh, we don't, we're pretty sure we know what that means that we're going to go to YouTube and there it is. Something like that. It's yeah. pretty close, yeah. Yeah, and then people will love it, and uh, we'll right get there on the homepage. All six listeners will give us a thumbs up. That's right, and uh, we'll be internet famous. So famous. Boy, get so, ready. So what? Uh, what's working on YouTube right now? <clears throat> what's working on YouTube? YouTube right now is really pushing YouTube Shorts. Mm-hmm. So YouTube Shorts is basically TikTok, but it oh. is yes, it is. It's TikTok, but it is you know for content creation. Let's say this podcast here. You know, we do, let's say, an hour podcast. We can use this podcast, break it down in uh, YouTube uh, YouTube shorts. They are 60 seconds, I want to say. So you can break it down into 10, 60-second pieces. Wow. And that's, that's content right there. Mm-hmm. And they, um, you know that they're really trying to push it because to the YouTube program, the partner program, um, they added that on to the monetization and also you, you get more views on YouTube shorts mm-hmm. than you do, you know, you know, podcasts like this. And, and it's also, what's weird also cool. is it's kind of like black and white now. Mm-hmm. Long form content is a lot of people, you get more views on long, long form content now and YouTube shorts. Mm-hmm. Like people don't really watch like a 10 minute video unless you're like Mr. Beast or somebody like that. But yeah, I don't know what it is. I guess people just like hearing people talk, you know, for a long time. And also, you know, the YouTube shorts, you got that audience to where people just want to, they're maybe on a run or they want to get to what they really want to watch. And they may have seen, you know, an interesting thumbnail or title or something like that. And they just right. want to click on and see what's, what it's about. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's something we will certainly have to look into. Yeah, we were yeah. actually talking about that yesterday a little bit, uh, yeah. Kyle and I and some others. But YouTube yeah. Shorts, I'm wearing mm-hmm. some right now. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> different. Different, still different. 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 Okay, yeah. I'll yeah. find yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, um, important question: If you could be on another podcast, who would it be? On another podcast? Yeah, hmm. if you could be a guest on another podcast. Well, I don't know. It might be all down from downhill from here, you know. Oh, this, thank you. Thank well, there, there that's you very go. Kind. Yeah, slip, yeah. slip him that twenty you promised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, of course, uh, uh, 
that's the that question. Um, it depends on you know where I want it, where I'm gonna be. U- ultimately, everybody want to be on Joe Rogan, you right. know. So you gotta, you gotta. I don't know if I'm built for Joe Rogan. I'm, I'm an interesting person. I don't know if I'm that interesting to be well, on. We tell Joe people Rogan. we're trying to get on Joe Rogan. Really? Well, well I mean, uh, you know, we haven't asked anybody, but we're trying. Oh, okay. You yeah. know, we're well, we're wishing. We're wishing. Yeah. We're aiming. Yeah, I'm, we're know, aiming for it. Maybe Joe Rogan, Howard Stern, something. I don't know. Something. Howard Stern. Wow. That's. I haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah. Well, he's. I think he's still out there. I have. I think he yeah, shows he, up on my radio or something. He is. He's still out there. Yeah. Very cool. All right. We're with Jeremy Cornelius, comediabrand.com. Also found on Facebook and Instagram. Jeremy, give us a golden nugget that our uh, that our friends out there in podcast world could benefit from. A golden nugget. Golden a n- golden nugget that I would say is to learn learn your craft it doesn't mean um there is so many nuances there's so much things to catch up with when you know when you started when you start a business what you've learned in the past may not work today that's how businesses go out of business because they they're not staying current with what's going on that's how toys r us went out of business uh you have you have to read the news you have to even though you may not want to you have to read the news you have to know what's going on you have to have somebody in the field that hears all the you know what's going on if something may go viral and if you're not you don't keep we got a saying in the hood you don't keep your ear to the streets then mm-hmm. you you won't know what's going on you this could be another market you could be dipping into and you don't even know it because you got your head in the clouds. This has been working, and then it could be all swept from up under you, right? You know, in a matter of no time. Because yeah, we've seen we've attention. seen a lot of companies that did not pay attention to what's going on, and mm-hmm. you know, the next thing you know, uh, gosh, I don't know, Blockbuster Video is out of business, and yes. Kodak is bankrupt, and Yellow Kodak. Cab is bankrupt, and I mean, all these great American iconic companies. Mm-hmm. Don't pay attention. That's very great advice. Pay attention. Yeah. Pay yeah. Uh, attention. And uh, we we thank you for that golden nugget. Our uh, advice today from Jeremy is pay attention, get excited, never quit. I I extrapolated that just a little bit. Yeah. Um, well, you ready to wrap this up, sir? Yeah, sure. This has been fun. Yeah. He's got a great radio voice. He's got that voice for radio. Yeah, we, we may have to like. Or have, movie announcements. Yeah, he, he would be awesome. Well, uh. We're going to wrap up today's show. Thank you guys for being part of cash flow. Thanks to our guests and sponsors who make this thing come to life. And it's a crazy world out there trying to keep it all together, you know, trying to fight for another day and balance all of these things. The balance part is hard for everybody. And if you're out of balance right now, welcome to the world that sometimes you're just out of balance a little bit and you want to find a way to get back in balance. Because let me tell you, there's no value in being who's who in business and who's he at home. And, uh, that's, uh, you know, it, we got to find balance in all of these things. So today let's go out there and do something right for the people near us. Let's make good decisions. And today, if you can find one person that you know that you need to forgive, but they just don't deserve it and forgive them anyway, because forgiveness is not about that person. Forgiveness is for you where you can take that stone from around your neck and run more freely that you don't have to carry that burden with you anymore. Yeah. So, uh, Think about that. We are forgiven, so let's forgive others. And to my three buddies, Dennis, Stu, Bob, and Hink Dog that are waiting for us down at the Quick Trip right now, grab a bag of the old beef jerky. We'll be down there in 30. We're jumping in the truck. This show, it's for you. Glad you're here. Thanks for being part of Cash Flows. That's our show for today. Stay tuned for another riveting edition of Cash Flows. 